Canaveral here in the parking lot about to board the Disney Wish, Disney Cruise Line's newest ship for a very merry time. I love that pun because maritime, merry time. Christmas cruise, we're so excited. This is our first time on the Wish. Earlier this year, we took a cruise on the Disney Dream, which was an absolute dream. So we're so excited. We're gonna bring you along for our experience on the Disney Wish. Let's go. Here's a little bit of a look at the ship from the parking lot. You can see Rapunzel over here. It's always exciting to be here because you know you're in for an adventure. Excited, Sam? I am, yeah. Once you get here, it like kind of hits you that you're going on our second Disney cruise. I can't believe it. This brand new ship is still in its inaugural season. How cool. We dropped off our luggage down there, easy peasy. All right, down to check in. Oh, you can see them loading the luggage onto the ship. That's all that noise you hear. Since this is our second cruise, we're actually now Silver Castaway Club members, so we can go check in over there. And we're through security, easy peasy, but look at this. Inaugural sailing, that is so cool. We're in the terminal, there's a Christmas tree, there's decorations. Florida and the Bahamas. Really cute Disney decorations here with Mickey hands holding the ornaments. Oh, that gets you in the spirit. They're also playing Christmas music. It's always exciting when you walk into this Mickey tunnel. And we're here onto the gangway. And everything's been so smooth and quick so far. Oh my goodness. Besides how different this looks than the dream, it's decorated for Christmas. So right now they're welcoming aboard families as everyone's checking in. And we are just taking this in for a minute. Our room's not ready yet. So we're gonna explore. Something's happening. open house and I can go down this slide. <laughs> okay, that was fun. So this is uh, the kids area, which is normally for kids, but they do an open house when you're first bored just so people can check it out. It's like a Marvel superhero academy, cool. This is so cool, they have a Star Wars area. There is also an adult Star Wars hyperspace lounge which we're gonna try to get into. It's really neat to get to see it now during the open house. A porg! So it looks like the kids can scan too, do some stuff. That's so neat. And we're obviously gonna do a lot of the adult activities on this cruise, but it's cool to see the kids areas too. So if you have kids and you're doing a Disney cruise, they're gonna have an amazing time. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. There's drawings all over the wall of Disney characters, the Marvel Superhero Academy. Oh, so cool. So there's like missions on the screens and all sorts of activities kids can do. Oh. They can scan. And I guess they get, oh, that's cool. This is awesome. Oh yeah, these kids got it made. <laughs> nice. Just starting to explore the ship and I'm already seeing beautiful Cinderella touches everywhere. This is 
a famous scene where she sings, the stepsisters are singing Sing Sweet Nightingale, and Cinderella sings it beautifully. It's one of my favorite scenes with the bubbles. And that is right across from Nightingale, so yeah, we're definitely gonna have a drink here at some point during this cruise. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Wow, and look at the views. I can't wait to go in there too. We'll do it, don't worry. We've got four nights. All right, now we're walking by the bayou. Wow, oh, hyperspace lounge. So it looks like it has a 45 minute time limit. How interesting. And it looks like you don't need reservations anymore. Can we come in? <gasps> All right, so apparently it used to be really tough to get a reservation and now uh, it's walk-in. There may be long waits later, but right now it's open. We're definitely gonna have some drinks in here. Get this window into space. Oh, hyperspace. Ah! Oh, cool. I feel like we should get some food. What do you think, Sam? I don't know, it's quite nice and This is gonna be my pointer, okay, though. Follow the pointer. <laughs> yeah, follow the pointer. Here we go. All right, that's awesome, yeah. Let's get some food, I think. The theater, beautiful. We don't exactly know where we're going, y'all, but we'll figure it out. I think we're gonna go to the buffet first. We're going to 11. The bar is spectacular. Here's Funnel Vision. Right now it's showing the Disney Wish, but during the cruise they'll be showing movies, there'll be shows up here. We're definitely gonna do the slide. The pools are so different. And here it is, so the Marceline Market is the buffet for this cruise. So pretty with the flowers. We'll be eating at the specialty restaurants for dinner, so we'll try this for lunch. Oh boy. Well, we found a table with a nice view, but it definitely took a while because everybody is eating first thing on the ship, and you can't blame them. So next to us, we've got Independence of the Seas, and a bunch of other ships. Out there's, I think that's the wonder of the seas. I'm so happy because the first thing, I got tikka masala, and Whoa. I've been craving like that so much lately. You have, okay, this looks good. Yeah, there's loads more. Bon appetit. Thanks. So it's a really different system here. They actually serve you rather than you reaching in and serving yourself like in a regular buffet, which has pros and cons. It's nice because people aren't touching everything. There are some things you serve yourself, but it's also they control the portions a bit more, but you can certainly ask for more. But we started out with a little mini feast just to start out with because we know we're gonna dine well throughout the next four nights. So we don't have to worry about that. Yeah, I got just an assortment of delicious things to start with. So one thing you gotta do as soon as you board, connect to the ship's Wi-Fi and get on the Navigator app and you can start looking at your plans and you can also explore plans and put a heart next to things that you wanna do and that way they'll show up in your plans as well. There's so much. So we gotta do the mandatory guest assembly drill. Last time we cruised it was virtual in the app but this time it's back to in-person. All done. We're gonna try to get a drink in Hyperspace Lounge now. We came back. Let's see? Let's see. Here's the QR code for the menu. There is also a menu and it's a tablet. It's pretty cool. So you can check out libation free. I guess these are non alcoholic drinks. And then cocktails, wine, and brews. So we're definitely gonna get a cocktail. And I love the sound of some of these. They all actually sound good. Doing this one. Ooh, and there's the famous or infamous $5,000 Kyber Crystal drink. You wanna order it, Sam? Uh, maybe after a few of the others. <laughs> Oh, each time it does it, you go to a new location. That's so cool. If you have your flashlight with you, you will see your drink will become sparkling. Oh, wow. Sam got the cool drink. 
Look at this cauldron it comes out of. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Oh, me too. Ah. <laughs> Nice. You want to raise your glass and I will drop a bubble and you will touch in there, right? Okay. <laughs> Catch it! <laughs> oh yeah, it glitters yours. Very pretty. Cheers! Sam got the Tatooine. This is Bantha hides mashed with fermented greens, Woodford Reserve double oaked. And I got the Moons of Endor, the Golden One, a mix of herbs and berries from the Forest Moon Surface, Belvedere Blackberry, and Lemongrass Amaretto Velvet. Mine tastes like an orange creamsicle. I don't know how. It's got this like creamy stuff in it. What does yours taste like, Sam? It tastes like a, kind of like a light old fashioned. Oh, it smells like it. I can smell it. But it tastes delicious. And you did such good bubble catching. I am proud. <laughs> These are really cool drinks. They taste delicious and the presentation was awesome. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Oh, that is good. Mm -hmm. In England, they have an ice lolly. I don't know if they have it here. Uh huh. It's called a Solero. Uh huh. It tastes exactly like that. Is it like an orange creamsicle kind of? It's like orange on the outside and ice cream inside. Yeah. It tastes exactly like that, and it's so good. It's so good, right? And I love Soleros. Yeah. So I might have to get one of those after. Oh my God. that we will be back all right our room it should be ready different characters are coming out to greet people now we've got Cinderella a gingerbread house I found the Disney wish gingerbread tower y'all know recently I went to the resorts at Disney World and showed all the gingerbread creations so this is very cool to see oh here on the wall this looks like a model of the wish and we were just talking about how the different Disney cruise ships feel like sort of equivalent to the different Disney parks and the Wish is kind of like the Hollywood Studios. It's got Marvel, it's got Star Wars, it's got Arendelle, the Frozen, and Princess and the Frog, and uh, what else? A bunch of different basically characters and movies. This is so pretty. But right now we're gonna go to our room. All right, deck eight. Now to find our state room. So we're here. So we need to go down this way. Down this way. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. So we're on starboard side. It does smell really nice. Very pretty. I do too, and I like the color, the green. Yeah. It's like a foresty green. Very pretty. I think this is our stateroom. Love all the details here. Woohoo! Here we go. First look at our stateroom on the Disney Wish. And now, since this is our second Disney cruise, we are silver level uh, Castaway Club members, so we get some gifts. And this one says, Inaugural Sailing. Wow, it looks so pretty. Definitely really new. <gasps> Sleeping Beauty print here, beautiful. In that gorgeous style of that film. Oh my goodness. But of course, it's all about the view, right? Oh, this looks familiar. Oh! <laughs> well, right now our view is of Port Canaveral, but soon it will be the open ocean! Look at that ship with a mermaid on it, the Norwegian getaway. So we have a sofa, some beautiful art. This is a pull-down bed if you need it. A nice large bed, a desk area. That's my wand that I got glasses, instructions for the ship. What's cool too is it's very modern, so there's all sorts of different plugs next to the bed. No more of the cool lampshade though. So just like on the other ship, the restroom is two different areas. One is the bath and one is the toilet, and they've got an upgraded bath and shower situation. This looks really nice. It's tiled and it's got a bathtub. You've got your amenities. <laughs> the other one is just the simple toilet area, hanging for towels and all of that, 
and your Disney H2O Plus products. Also of note, a different kind of fridge here. Really interesting, this is like a, it's a drawer. And then there's storage space and hair dryer. <laughs> Ooh, and you get some postcards. You can order breakfast, this is awesome. These are also closets, so you can hang things up and then like your life vests and stuff. And a safe. Ooh, robes. Nice, so exciting. So since there's two of us and we've both, this is our second Disney cruise, both of us, and we're part of Castaway Club, we got two lanyards and we also got the inaugural sailing. It's like a dust bag and inside of it this is a real bag. Look at how nice. Castaway Club inaugural sailings. I wonder how long. Oh, there's an announcement. Well, a very good afternoon, Disney Wish. <laughs> and your assistant cruise director. And on behalf of Captain Marco and the entire crew of the Disney Wish, we would like to warmly welcome you aboard. Love that. Just a friendly reminder that our mandatory emergency safety drill will take place at 3.50 p.m. today. <sighs> Your assembly station can be found on your Key to the World card and within the Disney Cruise Line Navigator app. Directions to your assembly station, which includes the emergency routes and exits, are posted on the back of your stateroom doors. As a reminder, your entire party, regardless <gasps> of age, Ooh. is required to attend the mandatory portion of Ooh, our safety Ooh, wow. Cruise. This is different. Yeah. Welcome aboard the beautiful Disney Wish, and I truly hope you have a magical cruise vacation. I love that. I love when they welcome you aboard. We love the stateroom. It definitely feels very modern. It feels different, but nice. There's more storage space than it looks like. I love that we got the Sleeping Beauty themed. Sleeping Beauty is themed theme. Sleeping Beauty is one of my favorite films. I love the art style. We're so excited to be here. So we're gonna chill out. We're gonna freshen up, settle in, just enjoy the room for a little bit. Uh, you can put your luggage under the bed. It's high up so you can put it under there. It also feels like there's more room because of the TV. Like it's here against the wall at the head of the bed rather than this like a big swivel. So the room, it's very nicely designed. We are very, very excited to enjoy it. So tonight we still have the sail away party. We have a show, we have dinner, we have characters and who knows what else. There's so much, I hearted a bunch of things in the app. So we have a lot of options for the next four days. <laughs> big night ahead of us tonight. First night aboard our four night cruise, five day cruise. <laughs> One thing I really loved last time, so now it's become a tradition, is to watch Disney movies while you're chilling in the room, always. So we're gonna do Sleeping Beauty. There's just nothing like having a classic Disney film on while you chill out and relax. We went ahead and made a little room service order while we're chilling, and you can actually order wine glasses, champagne glasses, a bucket of ice, we got some coffees, we got just some little snackies. Their wings are some of our favorite things. Room service is free. You do tip them. But we did order coffees that you pay for. Like some things you pay extra for. But in general, room service is free on Disney Cruising, which is amazing. It feels warm. You can also bring water on board. So we did. We also brought refillable cups for drinks and water. Prosecco, white wine, and fancy papers. One of my That's new favorite nice. beers. Yeah. Nice. We got cheese and fruit lattes oh yeah watching sleeping beauty uh water coffee all of that is free but if you want fancy coffee there is a little bit of an upcharge for that so we went ahead and ordered some fancy coffees just to get some energy because we got a big night ahead of us also we have the late seating for dinner we chose that we tend to choose the late seating because the early seating is usually families with small kids so we get the later seating, which tends to be more adults, but you never know, it's a mix. We just like eating later. Yay, our luggage showed up and it's almost time for the mustard drill. We're O, oh, so we're going in here to do the safety briefing, the safety drill, the mustard drill as they call it. Thank you, all done. All right, we're back from the mustard drill. We're unpacking a little more, hanging some things up and waiting for sail away. They have separated the gangway here. We've completed our mustard drill. Everything's aboard, there's pallets, there's the empty cases where people's luggage was stored. And now we're approaching sunset, even though it is still pretty early. And soon we should be heading out into the open sea. I love the way some people decorate their doors. Here we go! 
we came up to the adults only area and we got a spot for the sail away party. Oh, the light just came on on the Aqua Mouse. So this is a brand new slide. And yeah, we will definitely be doing this. We really liked the Aqua Duck on the on the Disney Dream. This is different. It's also a really they, different they layout. They said it was like the first attraction at sea. Yeah, they did. I said, are you ready for a fantastic vacation? <laughs> oh, it's so great to see you everyone. My name is Max. That's M8 Double X with your entertainment team. And we are so excited to be hanging out for the next four fun-filled days with all of you. Everyone, wants up and repeat after me. Wishes do come true. Wishes, Wishes do come true. get a little congested. It's a different layout than the dream, so we're opting for the stairs as often as possible. Every floor has beautiful Disney art. We came back to our stateroom. We love to watch the ship actually sailing away from our balcony. That's one of the benefits of having one. And <laughs> we're gonna pop the Prosecco. This is our tradition now, right? Yeah, sail away Prosecco. Sail away Prosecco. We're building traditions with yeah. each Disney cruise. Hey, cruise two? Tradition. Tradition. Did you love that show? That was cool. I like how Minnie is the star of the show. I do too. Also, I like that it was short. Like it was yeah. a really short eight minute of the main show, like maybe 10, 15 of the whole thing, but like just enough. Yeah, and going up to that adult area was yeah. a really nice view too. Perfect, yeah. All right. All right, here we go. Woo. Yay! Woohoo! 
folks on the Norwegian, on the, what is this, the Norwegian getaway, are cheering us on. Fun. This is so beautiful. Look at the people up in the ropes force waving. Oh, they're waving too. Yeah. Okay, we gotta do a Norwegian cruise one day. Sounds they know fun. how to party. Yeah. yeah. Look at this sunset, Sam. So nice. And you can see other folks out on their balcony enjoying it too. That looks like a fun ship. It does. Yeah, there's a really cool, like, steep side. I think we have to try a Norwegian. Yeah, one day. Cheers. Go. Mm, incredible. Just ah, stunning. So now we, have, we won't be till. We won't dock somewhere else until. The day well, after tomorrow, tomorrow. yeah, because tomorrow. tomorrow's our day at sea. Huh. There's fish lips. That's a waterfront bar and grill where you can watch the cruise ships sail away. Look, there's people. They're waving, I see them. The sunset is just spectacular. And it's only 5.20 p.m. Wow. That is the most fiery, magnificent sunset I've seen in a long time. Good omen, I'd say. Back all of our Castaway Club members and a big welcome home to all of our Disney Vacation Club members too. You know, from our world-class cuisine to our Broadway-style shows, there is truly something for everyone here on board the Disney Wish. And this announcement is just a quick reminder about this evening's events, activities, dining, and show times. But a quick announcement about well, these announcements, actually. Now, this is the last time I'll be entertainment announcements inside your state rooms. I know there's going to be a lot of children taking naps this cruise, and well, let's be honest, there's going to be a lot of adults taking naps this cruise too, am I right? And I don't want to disturb anyone. So, when you hear the Disney Chime out in the corridor that's indicating an announcement is coming, all you have to do is turn on your state room television to the main menu page, and that way the announcement inside your state room is truly as easy as that. And actually, speaking of those TVs, folks, while you have them on, go ahead and start checking out some of those on-demand features there. You've got general information to some of your favorite Disney films into our holiday tradition of Mickey's tree lighting magic. Oh, they'll be lighting the tree tonight. And welcome aboard, and I hope you have a magical cruise vacation. Because it's like the sky and the ocean are the same color right now, so everything out there is just floating. As soon as we pass the end of this dock, we're out. It's just the sea just melts into the sky right now. That's a really cool beach spot. People watch the cruise ships go out, and you can also watch rocket launches from this area out here. Wow! Oh my gosh! It's like on fire. I've gotten changed for dinner. We're gonna go down. We're gonna look at the shop, try to do some shopping. We're gonna watch a show. We're gonna watch the tree lighting. We're gonna have dinner at Arendelle. Uh, yeah. It's gonna be a night. It's gonna be an amazing, amazing night. The weather feels just heavenly, incredible. Bye, thank you. And we are out on the open ocean. Dreamy, just so dreamy so we're just finishing up our prosecco and then we're gonna go down but yeah this is why we get a balcony room all right time to go oh this is so pretty by the way we've passed by this several times and it's beautiful i love the bayou this is so amazing they're playing let it snow it's so pretty in here. So what we're gonna do is grab a drink from the bayou right now to take into the show with us, but we'll definitely come back and, you know, enjoy this atmosphere a lot more. I love the flickering pebbles in here. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Tonight's show is Disney Seize the Adventure. So that is what we are going to seize. 
Let's see the theater. We've got our drinks. Oh, it's so pretty. Beautiful theater. I'd expect nothing less. Very pretty theater. And these like dark aqua colors. And there's also a second level up there. This is so nice. Uh, your cup, oh, oh, that came right out. Well, there you go. There's a cup holder. It's a tight fit, but it gets there. But it gets there, even the wine glasses fit in here. I feel like that was missing in the theater yeah. in the Disney Dream. Mm -hmm. It is warm in here though. Filming and photography of these shows is not permitted, so we're just gonna enjoy it. I'll show you the theater beforehand and like if there's any breaks in the show or anything like that. But other than that, we are gonna enjoy the first show of the cruise. Whoa. Everybody, welcome on out to the Walt Disney Theater. Welcome to the first night of your Disney Cruise! Woo! We'll see you around, everybody! Woo! <laughs> amazing, amazing, amazing. We loved it. I'm like, I'm crying. That was so good. <laughs> the atrium is full. Everybody's excited. They're gonna do the tree lighting. It's beginning, it's beginning. Oh, how pretty, oh my gosh. All right, I got a spot sitting on the floor. It's about 10 minutes till the tree lighting. There are people, oh my gosh. dinner in a few minutes this is what it looked like from up here you can't really see the tree as well I was sitting on the floor it was <laughs> it was jam-packed down there but it was a lot of fun that was a really cute show we did a Christmas sing-along and here's the chandelier it's beautiful like from up here you can see how big it is it's really huge tonight's dinner is at Arendelle this is a frozen themed dining show we're very excited for we can already see the theming There's usually a line to get into dinner, but once they open the doors, hopefully it'll move quickly. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Thank you. We're getting walked to our table. It's beautiful. 
Oh my gosh. We put in a request for our own table, but it's not guaranteed, so we'll see. Oh, thank you. So we are at a table by ourselves, but the tables are very close to each other. Now let me show you the menu. So it says, the royal family hereby welcomes you to an enchanted evening. We've got smorgasbord, salads, from the kettle, bread service, entrees, vegetarian, and lighter note. And then they do also have specialty cocktails. Each restaurant has different, and of course beer and wine. But they have frozen fractals, ice harvester, and northern sour. Oh, and the maelstrom trio, Woo! And then they have non-alcoholic mocktails. That's nice too, and after dinner drinks. And this is the frozen fractals. This is Syrah, peach, moet, and Chandon ice. So very simple, very pretty, and very glittery. <laughs> it's good, but it's really strong. Isn't it weird? Like it's good, but it's very strong and strange. Nice. Yeah, what's yours like? Mine tastes good. The ice harvester that's Blanton's bourbon, Hennessy, VS, and Contru Con Contru Control. I don't know, but it, I like the cup though. I like the glasses here. With each sip, it's tasting more and more like candy, and I do like the glitter. It just shocked me how strong it was at first, but yeah, now I do like it. It's delicious.
sing along, so I need a minute. Now, it is dinner time. Sam has begun while I was singing along. Here we go. Oh! Desserts. I I am so full. I don't know that I have room for anything. I don't think I have room. Uh, I, I'm just too full. I'm too full. But I did just walk around and do a big dance train on the dance floor. I didn't take my camera with me, but I did dance. on the way out, these busts of Anna and Elsa. Those are so pretty. That was a really nice dining experience. We are actually done. There's a lot of folks still eating, but we are just so full. I like the added touch of the holiday decorations too. All the art is beautiful. It was nice, it was really fun. Food was nice. Yeah, the appetizers I think we liked better than the main, but we liked it a lot. Check this out, Mickey's main sale, one of the shops here, was a full, 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 slammed full of people earlier. Now, empty. There's so much cute Disney Wish merchandise in here. Oh, so cute. They even have a bunch of the inaugural sailing merch, too. We're definitely gonna be buying some cute things. Is this the project to comply? Okay, so what I All right, we did some shopping. We had to. Oh, Mickey, how cute! We like to walk around the ship after dinner. This is the adult area. Pools, I think, are closed right now. We're gonna do some swimming. In the next few days, we're definitely gonna use the pools, check things out, like sports and a bar. Nice. It's always so cool to walk around the ship at night and look at the stars. Since it's closed at nighttime, we can look at the Toy Story splash zone, super cute. A lot of pools scattered around the ship. It's really nice and peaceful to walk around at night. There's Orion. You can always tell by Orion's belt. The moon is like golden, like orange, right? And so low in the sky. The music is so nice. Inside and outside. All right, we're gonna go back to our stateroom, I think. All right, we are back. Let's see if we got some turn down service. I see a towel animal. Uh, oh, oh crap. <laughs> crap. How cool. That's one of the things you look forward to coming back is seeing what towel animal you get with little chocolate eyes. Our view is amazing. We have the moon on our side. It is red and it's like, it's like setting beneath the horizon. We're still so close to Florida that there are birds. Since tomorrow's a sea day, the ship's just, I guess, going really slow. It's so peaceful. So and that's a wrap on day one aboard the Disney Wish, our very first time on this brand new Disney ship that just was uh, inaugurated, it's an inaugural year, like just came into commission in 2022. It's a very, very new ship. So this is one of the first sailings, not the first by any means, but um, within the first few months of the ship in operation. And they've worked out a lot of the kinks. I will say upon first impression, 
Um, the layout is a little weird and there were a few times that we kind of got turned around. It didn't loop all the way around in a spot where we thought it would and we had to like kind of go back around. But we're kind of getting the hang of things, you know? Sometimes it takes a while to get situated and learn the layout. I do feel like on the Dream, the layout was more intuitive. It didn't really take any time and we were like, we knew where we were. We never really got turned around. Like it was overwhelming at first still, but I don't know, maybe I'm remembering wrong, but I feel like the Dream had a nicer layout. But I do feel like the ship has a lot of exciting things and it's different. It's like we were saying earlier, like the different ships can so far what we've seen be compared to like the different parks it feels exciting we're very excited for worlds of marvel and for 1923 for the walt and roy disney themed restaurant and the shows and so much more to come so stick with us stay tuned for the next few days i'll probably do one video of each day of the cruise to show you everything we do everywhere we dine and everything that we can show you. This is a four night cruise, so each day we're doing a ton of stuff and I'm filming kind of little snippets to show you the flow of our day and the highlights kind of of what we're doing. But thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this exciting first day aboard the Disney Wish. This cruise so far, day one, pretty, pretty awesome. We are very, very happy and very excited. Everything has been beautiful and cool and just really great. We have a day at sea, we have Castaway Key, we have so much more coming, so stay tuned for more of the cruise vlogs and so much more too. I'm just excited to keep sharing it with you. So thank you so much for being with us for day one. More to follow. I'm sending you all lots of love. See you for the next video. And until then, as always, stay enthused. Bye.